So you bring in your 401k, okay? We do the analysis, okay? You find out what's working, right? And you find out what's not working, okay? Today we're going to talk about verbal crutches and how to get rid of them, okay? My wife works in the court reporting industry, and recently they got a call from a law firm. They had reviewed a transcript from a deposition, and they said, this court reporter must have got this wrong. This witness is highly respected and an intelligent doctor, and there is no way, he said, you know, 90 times in a one-hour testimony. They looked back at the video, and he did. Even people who are very good communicators develop these verbal crutches. I've been in this business over 40 years, and I do it too. Some people call it filler words. It's a little placeholder for your brain as it figures out what it's going to say next. We do it unconsciously. Unfortunately, they can become very evident and even irritating to your listener, to the point they can lose the impact of what you're saying. So how do you solve it? Well, as most problems go, the first step is awareness. If it's a live presentation, videotape it and watch it. If it's a radio show or a podcast, listen to it. As a radio personality, we had what were called air check sessions. We sat down with our boss once a week and he listened to a show. And as you did, you'd realize right away, oh, this one's going long. And you'd say, okay, I get it. I get it. Turn it off. Then the boss would say, "Mm -mm -mm. no, no, no. They sat through it. Now you're going to sit through it. And you changed your ways pretty quickly. Another thing that I recommend is put an index card right in front of you with your crutch written on it. So every time you say you know or okay or right, you'll see it and you'll do better. Another tip is slow down. Use the pause. The silence that you hear might seem long to you, but it won't to your listener. News and commentator Paul Harvey was famous for his use of the pause. There was a 10-second radio commercial that I did years ago, and it went like this. Johnson Wax. It cleans as it shines. When we speak, we tend to want to fill every single second with sound. But if we slow down and use the pause, you build a little anticipation, even some suspense, and you draw your listener in. You're then viewed as prepared, knowledgeable, and that leads to trust, which is exactly what you want. I hope you're enjoying Selling with Stories. If this is the first one you've seen, scroll through our other videos on improving your storytelling skills. There's also our Impact Podcast, Ready, Set, Grow. And of course, House Rules with our Chief Marketing Officer, Alex House. If you like and subscribe, you'll know when the new videos come out. Thanks for watching.